I just want to say we've made it one whole year on YouTube. So thank you very much. And please enjoy my favourite videos that I've ever recorded on this channel. Ranking female Clash of Clans characters, I would today up first. I actually genuinely didn't think she was actually that bad. Proper lasso, she got that nice hair, but I saw his tongue and I immediately just dropped her down. And after that scream as well, I just can't do it, guys. I just can't do it. She just has to go in now. Supercell like the healer so much that they made her into a doll. But she's even got fan art. <laughs> However, I think she's pure evil. She won't heal the people that need to be healed, so please be careful. However, the healer can be pretty good and her stats on max level are pretty insane. Anyway, let's rank her. I actually might give her a hard part. I'm only joking with you. She's definitely going in baddie tier. Rebecca, can't go wrong with it. She is an absolute almighty beast. I love her so much. She's so tanky. The two swords and she levels out. God, she is just unreal. For that though, she is definitely top, top tier. Let's put her in there right now. Mother witch, and let's just say she's not an M-I-L-S, but she is pretty strong. Uh, she does turn people into pigs, and she is actually quite cool. Anyway, we're sticking her in. Now, time for the finale! If you haven't watched part one, it will be linked right here, just above. First up, the Musketeer, and she's a funny one. She's got quite strong, quite strong indeed. But, the most important thing is that she's got tight pink curly hair, which is very fashionable. I, ha I do like it. However, zooming in here, I did notice this happened. Oh, and for that, it's just wrong. So she gets demoted. De oh, tear. Moving on to the mad woman herself. No, not Harley Quinn, but the Axe Maniac. No, I mean Valkyrie. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Anyway, this ginger ninja is a wild child and she does a lot of damage. However, without her friend, she's useless as a bag of sticks. However, with that rage, god damn. Let's go in here. Up next, the archer and she's a baddie through and through probably one of the sassiest characters the game has and she's not to be messed with she's got range barbarians watch out anyway moving on to the witch and the night witch the two sisters of the grave and the undead spawning skeletons like larry and bats like well bats anyway i personally think they are both super strong 
and I would love to have them on my team any day of the week. I have an interesting one. It is the bandit, and I'm not so sure about her. Like, she would just pounce at you, and you wouldn't know. That may seem cool. However, if she got angry at you, you just wouldn't see her coming. And for that, I'm sticking her in. Nah. Up next, the one we've all been waiting for, the almighty Archer Queen. And she means business. Arguably the best hero in the game, equipped with the, uh, the new abilities, making her super strong. Pardon me. Anyway, I just can't get enough of her. When she's upgrading her, I just want to cry. <laughs> she is going top, top tier. Subscribe for more, guys, if you have enjoyed. And peace. I now have the biggest COC in the entire universe. My leader, after seven, seven years, guys, have stepped down and promoted me as the leader the of next the day. I feel so honoured. So, so honoured. Look at that. Honestly, pure respect on this guy's name. I want to try and get everyone into this clan to make it a thriving clan. This is a recruitment video. I want you to grow this COC. Please grow this clan. Please help us out. I'm begging all of you to join us. These are all the people that are in the clan currently. We've got 30 members. And please, can we try and fill this clan up and do some wars, compete with the big leagues and everything like that. Lastly, I'd like to leave a big message to DJ, the clan leader. If you are watching this or you aren't watching this, um... I just want to say an amazing thank you to you for passing it over to me and I will try and run it to the best of my ability and as much as I don't know you that well in person I feel like I have known you for a crazy long time and I'm truly thankful for the time that I've had with you and I'm so happy to have you as my co-leader even if you're not going to be that active I still just want you there and you'll forever be a co-leader in the clan um, I can't thank you enough, honestly dude, it has been such a journey and I can't believe that I've been here for so long as well, it's incredible, it's utterly incredible, so huge thank you, comment DJ in, in the comments, here's the reason for this big COC exchange, I feel like I've gone through like a procedure or something, anyway before I ramble on, subscribe for more videos and on to the next one. Peace out, guys. We are ranking defenses in Kasha clans. Let's go. First up, the first event is air defenses. Where am I going to rank them? All? Like you've got your balloons, you've got your lava hounds, your lava loon combination. You name it, you got it. And electric dragons. You need to kill those bad boys. I'm going to put them as strong air sweepers. They don't necessarily do any damage, but I'd say they are crucial to upgrade. If you're not upgrading them, you better do that right now. Air sweepers are like the most underrated defense in the game. An underrated one, but I'm putting in very good. Up next, I have arch towers. I to the fact that they can target ground and air, and it's quite rapid fire. You know, they're just strong. I have put these in strong. Due to bomb towers up next, it's going in bad. Cannons are bad, but they're not good. They have good range. They're just, I wouldn't say they're anything special. They are going good. They're not like Eagle Artillery, due to the fire rate of it, and it not being the most powerful, if you know what I mean. Like, if you're using, like, um, certain kind of troop, it's not really going to do much damage. This might shock a few. I'm going to stick it in good. Up next, I have the Inferno Tower. It does target a lot. You get it at a higher town hall. So it just feels more premium, feels more good. Putting that in a strong mortar, enough said, it's in bad. Same as bomb tower, absolute garbage. Up next, we have the crossbow, which I think it's called the crossbow. It's one of my favorite defenses. It does Rex armies, opinion, so it's getting its strongest. Uh, Expos, which can target ground and air, have a big radius, which is different. I'm going in strong. Wither Tower, in very get just get rid of those like height higher herds of armies like barbarians, archers, minions. That's very good. Anyway, guys, if you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments. <laughs>